pivot niya. Pivot iwas sa sakit eh. Miller. And Simpson has come up with some huge rebounds here. And Alaska into the last two minutes. Leading 90 to 84. Looks like a 30 will be taken by Tim Gunn here. He wants to make sure. He knows this is a big possession. This is a must stop for Barangay Hinebra. He never has to make sure that they, Alaska doesn't score here. Plus, he also wants to make sure that he gets players that are healthy on the floor. It looks like L.A. Tenorio is on that bench and will be replaced by Brandon Kablai. As we take off this 30-second time, brought to you by Handy Fins on first aid, Nambakay Mo, Bonzo, Seals, all. Mukhang uh, the color scheme for Alaska tonight is brown. All right. Oh, let's listen. Brandon. All right. Okay. Screen. Look for Diamond right here in the block. All right. Joe, screen down. Cyrus coming out. Now, if we can't get to either, Joe, you got to come back hard to the ball. You get it. Look down inside. Tony, you got the ball out of bounds. Something familiar as... Uh, Simcon likes Tony De La Cruz inbounding the ball. Tenorio is given a rest, as you said, complies in. De La Cruz to Baguio. Hook shot. Oh. And here comes something for Hinebra. Well, that's a good defensive stop. He never really needed that. Now they have to put points on the board. Uh-huh. Too close. Too close. Too congested. And the shot clock now might be a problem, but Miller says, I'm here. Daniels couldn't get the signals. Didn't know what Miller wanted to do. Then they end up confused on that side street. 17 points by Miller wasn't pretty but they still cut the lead down to four and again must stop possession for Barangay Ginebra you're saying pick and roll up oh, almost a traveling situation there 10 on the shot clock, 2 bit attacks, loses control, Simpson has it, there's the whistle. And that is a huge play courtesy of Cyrus Baggio. It could be a long evening for Barangay Ginebra. So Willie Miller set up his import very well in that play. Daniels just didn't know what to do around the basket. And then it, it, it just went progressively worse from that point on in that offensive set. Tenorio Baggio. Simpson Devans. Well, this usual starting unit for Alaska up against Inebra with 16. Wait, let me tell you, here's Baggio. Here's Daniels. Two bids. Counterbrand will go straight to the hole, but Ovalo up. That worked. It's a two point game. Watch it. Take away. Three for the lead. Yes! And listen to Barangay. He never roar. What seemed to be a long night has been transformed into a short one. And it is Barangay. He never the lead by one. A timeout taken by Alaska. You know, everybody's plans for the next two days will be decided probably in 28.5 seconds. You, you, know, you know, if you looked at that replay, it was actually Simpson that popped the ball inside the ring. And then JJ Haldebrand riding the wave. Hitting that three points on his first basket since the first quarter of this game. Here we go, everybody who likes Ginebra on their feet, the inbound. Three second differential between shot clock and clock. Baggio nearly losing it. Daniel 
Double team. Here's the pass to Tenorio. 14 on the shot clock. We're on our feet. Literally, Jason and I, because we are being covered. Tenorio, they can't attack. They're looking at the shot clock down to four. They have to shoot somewhere, somehow. Wow. Alaska found the way. Wow. Alaska found the way. Wow, talk about breaking your heart at the very last second. And talk of a party pooper at that. Wow. Just guts by Alaska to hang on and now five seconds remain in a nail biter of a game. Seth, we talked about it just a while ago. Being cool under pressure, Alaska just showed us how to be ice cool. Imagine, oh imagine how many times they almost lost the basketball and then after that, they were still able to score. Let's try to listen in first. Jogi Chico is not uh, speaking yet. Now he's now he is. coming in and some anxious moments we'll take a look at that last play very quickly that was going nowhere and it was panic mode it looks like but then under pressure they delivered that's what we said they had to play under control under pressure situations right now look for eric Mack at the post but be careful of sunday salvation on the corner especially for that three-point shot it's gonna be a looks like they're gonna go straight to the post with Eric Meg trying to get to the post then JJ Helterbrand coming up but remember if you're Barangay Ginebra you look at the opposite side Alaska not in the penalty Alaska can still give up a foul if you're taking your time Alaska using a 30 brought to you by Handy Picks of first aid Bahay Mubanzo seals all they saw what they wanted to do and saw what you exactly said right now and they'll make uh, the corresponding defensive uh, movements what a game so far both teams have had their runs and you were also telling me which we haven't shared yet we haven't had that moment when both teams actually played at the tipping point where both of them just collided and I think it's about the last minute mark of this game that's where that's what we've been seeing Again, this is the play. Ilang beses na set na muntik na mula yung bola dito sa Alaska. Joe Devaz at the very last second finding their input time at Simpson. There was one second on the clock. On the shot clock. Yun yung danger sign dun eh, no? Let's see. Five seconds. The inbound to Mank. Mank will make a turn, go up with nothing, it's all ball, it's all ball, one second remaining, no foul called, there was a foul I guess against Eric Mank, and he never a player, yes, and Alaska, I think that's point one, if that's yes. point one, we're yes, done. and look at this, Helterbrand, falling to the floor in dejection and disappointment, 
long face on the side of Mank and it is all over. Alaska sets a date with talking text. The Cyrus got these two free throws, but we're done. It's all about just what we're, where they're going to print in the papers in terms of what the final score is. And look at team manager Waki Trillo enjoying this moment. You know, can't take anything away from the big shot of J.J. Helderbrand, but the poise of Alaska, which you had underscored in your webpage, so critical in this game. It was a game that they could have lost at that moment also, as we see the pain, the frustration of the Vanquished in this game. Here's that last play, Seth. This is exactly how it was drawn up. Eric Meg's supposed to get the basketball. He says, look for Ronald Dubin if he's open. Could have gotten it to Ronald Dubin for a layup. Decided to go for it himself. Silas Baggio, quick hands. Because Ronald Dubin did not clear the area. And that allowed Silas Baggio to come in and play, that, play as a help defender. Tim Cohn embracing Willie Miller and the Alaska...